Hello, let's talk classically styled high quality leather jackets and a good example to my right, the Bellstaff Trialmaster Pro. They of course do this in a wax textile version. If you're gonna be riding through a lot of rain, maybe you'd wanna go for that. But we have the leather version here, which is finished in this really nice light brown. They call it Burnt Cuero. Cuero, definitely pronounced it wrong, somewhere along those lines. I like it, it's quite a light brown actually. In comparison to the mahogany that you can get this jacket in, or the antique black, which I think would probably be my choice just because I like to play it safe. I say classically inspired because this is probably a shape you are familiar with. If you're familiar with Bellstaff, you would be. Uh, based, I believe, on the tourist wax cotton versions of Days Gone, but of course this brought up to date and it passes the modern safety standards as a result. So this is level A. It has armor in it as well, so it has shoulders and elbows, and they are level one from D3O. If you've seen them before, you'll know how good those are. If you've worn them before, you'll definitely know how good those are. And they've got a pocket for the back protector. I probably would couple this with a back protector just because I always like to put a back protector in my jackets anyway. And it's very subtle in this one. You don't really pick up that it's there. It's not very obvious. The armor itself is vented. It is nice and soft, nice and malleable. It's very comfortable. It's not too hot on a warm day. If we're talking about riding seasons, I would say this for me would personally be what I'd wear on either spring months or autumn months. If it gets to the winter, I'd probably want to save this and reserve it rather than putting it through all the salt and muck on the roads and the rain that you probably encounter at that time as well. And then obviously when it gets to the height of summer, it's going to be quite warm. It has got some vents under the arms, so that should help a little bit with the warmth. Uh, but even so, it's going to be quite hot on, let's say, a 30 degree day. It's my benchmark usually for a really hot day. Does a really good job on a cold day of actually blocking out the wind flow so you've got that chunky zip on the inside and then you've got that flap that goes over the front there and then these snaps that just go the length of the body they're quite nice and chunky and they've got the bell staff logo on there so some nice details speaking of details if we go top to bottom we have that buckle on the neckline there so it comes up quite high uh, and the fact that you can fasten that across helps block out that wind flow you've got four pockets on the outer you've got one on the inside you've got these two chest pockets that really are quite large and they're actually pretty big on the bottom there as well so you've got a decent amount of storage on there if you want to and then on the inside you've got this uh, breast pocket so you can stick your phone your wallet whatever you need to in there then you've got some adjustability around the waist so you've got this belt buckle that goes the full length you can take that out if you don't want it on there it's probably a good idea to keep it on there because it does keep it nice and snug one of the big considerations i think if you're riding any jacket is how much it's going to sort of touch the tank maybe if you've got loads of buckles and lots of metal across it it might scrape a little bit. So actually across the belt there, they have this that folds across. You've got the bell stuff logo on the outer there, but essentially that wraps across and fastens via Velcro. So it keeps the buckle away from the metal parts on your bike, stops you from scratching it, hopefully. You've got fasteners on the wrist there, so you can open those up and you can gain easy access or conversely take your hand out easier, which is actually probably when it becomes more of an issue when you're trying to get the jacket back off if you are getting a little bit warm. And then you've got a bell staff logo on the sleeve which is the same color as the rest of the leather, but it's really nicely finished and detailed on there. Then you've got this iconic double layer on the elbows and the shoulders. It's what I've come to expect from Bellstaff and it's what I would want to see on mine. It also adds to the abrasion resistance. Material wise, we have this waxed bovine leather on the outer. It's one to 1.1 millimeters thick, nice and chunky, but also fairly malleable, fairly soft and comfortable when you're moving around in obviously, the more you own it, it will get a bit more comfortable. And then you've got the cotton inner with the check pattern again that you'd expect to find once you've opened it up. And you've got this corduroy around the neck and the wrist to make it a bit more comfortable. And actually I would say also to add a bit more to warmth. It is quite a straight cut. Obviously you can taper that in around the waist, make that a bit slimmer, uh, but it is a very straight line to it. I would say this favors a taller rider or specifically obviously in the torso. Depends what kind of bike you're riding. I know if you're on a more upright riding position, then you're gonna want something like this. It goes the full length all the way down to your jeans. And it helps again to block out a lot of that wind even coming up through the jacket, as opposed to the likes of the Brooklyn, which is a bit more cropped. Actually, personally, probably my style of uh, jacket, certainly with the bikes that I ride where I'm more over the bike. Um, this one, although it is quite a long jacket, actually doesn't go the full length with the zip. So it's a decent amount of flexibility if you do lean over the bike as you probably will at some point, it has got that flex to move out a bit more, just so it's not uncomfortable if you are hunched over. It is what you would call a three quarter length jacket, so it certainly is a little bit longer. For sizing, I would say they are quite accurate. Now trying these on, normally I'm between a medium and a large, I would say the same is true with this, so that's my own personal experience, but we have of course got a size guide on the website and it is pretty in depth for this one, 
So do your measurements, do check with uh, the size guide on there. We will keep that up to date as well if there's anything new that we find out, uh, but you can definitely find a good fit for yourself with this. They go between small and four times XL, I believe. It depends a little bit on the color that you're going for, but they have a decent range there as well. You'll find these on the Urban Rider website for £1,095. Yes, that is a premium price, but it is a premium brand. And at the end of the day, there are just some things you cannot fake. If you want a high quality leather finish, if you want a bell staff jacket, if you want the kind of jacket that's gonna last you a lifetime, then this is that kind of jacket. Get some leather treatment for it, treat it well over the years, and it will stand you in good stead. Follow the link in the description if you want to pick yourself up one of these. Leave your comments and questions if you've got any. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. Thank you.